Welcome to EnviroTube. This week we're going to look at the technique called eduction. Eduction is a way of splitting a wild native beehive into two and typically you use it with a wild hive, especially a wild hive that is in a position that's going to disappear. Maybe a tree that's going to be cut down, maybe a uh, branch lying on the ground in an unsuitable position and in fact that's exactly what happened this time. We had the hive in a spot, it had to be moved, we thought well why not move it and do an eduction at the same time. Look, the critical part about an eduction is actually getting the bees from the wild hive into your oath hive. That's the original Australian tetragonular hive. So to do that, you get something like a PVC pipe, but I've seen people use metal. The actual pipe isn't that important. And you connect it from the wild hive to your oath hive. So what I need to do is, with this oath hive, get this like this. Now, in here, I've got a little bit of timber, and you can sort of see, I don't know if you can uh, focus on that, but I've actually put a bit of timber in there with a smaller diameter hole. The whole idea of uh, this smaller hole is that the bees will be able to seal it off because eventually the adducted hive, the budded hive, is going to have to be sealed off from the mother hive. That's a critical part of this whole process. I'm just going to use the drill just to make it a little bit uh, wider, just so that it's really bleedingly obvious to the bees this is the way to go. One of the mistakes that people make when they're trying to do an eduction is they get, they get a log, right? So here's a wild hive. Uh, it's been sectioned up by uh, a tree lopper. That means it's been cut in bits. So this bit and this bit, it's actually two halves. And inside the log is hollow. So what happens is sort of you, you basically reconnect and you can see, if you look really carefully, you can see this is the entrance of the hives. This is where the bees are coming in and out. You can see this wild hive. This is the entrance of the hive. So if you're going to do an eduction, you've actually got to fit your oath hive or whatever you're going to use as your artificial hive to the entrance. If you watch this, I'll take the foam off. I've just put this on for insulation. So this is the mistake people make. Because the log's hollow, they've actually put an oath hive over the hollow, thinking that the bees are going to go in there. And then you can sort of see there's an entrance there that potentially they would just start using this as a second hive, start flying in and out. That's not what happens. The bees have still got their entrance. They're flying in and out like crazy. The bees here, they're going to use this oath hive as honey storage, as food storage. What happens is they seal up the entrance. They're never going to set up a separate hive. So if you put this on your uh, log, thinking you're going to get an eduction, never going to happen. It's just going to be honey storage. <laughs> Look, thanks for watching this EnviroTube. There's so much information, we can't squeeze it into one video. You're going to have to watch part two to see how it finished.